Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel, Peter. Boom, 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 boom. Bam, 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 review stuff. And I am back for another Crumble Cookies review. Ha, 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 they're hot potatoes. They're hot off the presses, just like the newspaper. And I am so excited. I literally just picked these up like 10 minutes ago. My cousin Caroline and I, on the way home, um, from having a little pool day with my good Judy Tanya and some other friends and her husband uh, I said can we stop by crumble cookies and she said sure so we stopped by crumble cookies and I have to tell you there were like four cars full of people getting out right as we pulled up and I said hurry 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 I have to run inside or I'm gonna be like waiting in this long line so I got to the front of the line and then all these people came in I was very happy so I don't even know what the flavors are this week um, because I literally got on the screen. So you order them on the screen, right? And I didn't have my reading glasses on, so I just went do 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 like that and order them real quick so I could make sure that I got out of there really quick because I knew that there was a long line behind me. So I have no idea what these cookies are. So I'm gonna be just as surprised as you are. When I, although I do know that I ordered a chocolate chip cookie. Okay, so let me, oh my Lord. Look at these cookies. I'm so excited. Hold on, we need a thumbnail. <laughs> the thumbnail is my favorite part. It looks like, if I had to guess, I would say this is some kind of brownie. This is something lemon. This looks like a birthday cake. Chocolate chip. This looks like an M&M. Oh, it feels like a peanut butter cookie. So maybe M&M with peanut butter in it or Reese's Pieces or something. And this looks like a chocolate, oh, it's warm, some kind of chocolate delight over here. I don't know if you can see this one, but it's like chocolate on the bottom and then a cream fill and cream topping with, it looks like, oh, that's like Heath or toffee bar is kind of what it seems like to me. So let's get into these cookies for the week. By the way, if you didn't see my other video where I announced this, I am doing almost daily, almost because I missed yesterday, almost daily reviews over on TikTok. They're about 60 to 90 seconds. I'm just doing things like uh, new water that I find, new bottle of water, or new like coffee drinks that I find, or food. Today I'm doing a candy. I'm doing a candy today. Um, so come over and check that out. My TikTok is listed below, but it's, leader, it's literally just <laughs> leader. It's literally leader of the pack. It's literally just Peter Mono on TikTok. You can find it over there. Um, I'm just getting started. I think I've only done two reviews so far. So, all right, let's get into these cookies today. And I will tell you what I think of them. All right, hold on a second. Crumble cookies, crumble cookies. How I love you, you are so sweet and kind to me. Okay, so the return of the mystery cookie. Each store will have a peanut butter cookie of their choice. Ready to go find your favorite? <laughs> I don't, but I don't know what my, uh, plan, well, I don't know what, which one I got. So anyway, so there's a milk chocolate chip cookie. This is the first one they have on the menu. I've reviewed that many times over here and talked about it. It's my husband's favorite. Oh, lemon cupcake. This is what it's supposed to look like. A lemony vanilla cookie topped with a swirl of velvety lemon frosting. Now I have to tell you, okay? I love lemon anything. I love lemonade. I love lemon smoothies. I love lemon sherbet. I love lemon gelato. Is that a thing? I don't know. I love lemon cake with icing on it. I love those archway lemon cookies. I love lemon anything. So I will be really surprised if I do not like this cookie. So this is supposedly served warm, okay? So here we go. Ready? Well, let me show you what it looks like first. Oh my God, that frosting is so good. By the way, I just wanna tell you that last week's cookies, over the course of the week, I usually like dive into them a little bit more. The, I don't know what the blue one was, blue raspberry or something like that, it had a little candy in it. That one and the apple pie, the apple pie cookie, if it comes around again, you have to get it. It was so delicious. I literally sat here one night, we were watching The Real Housewives, and I ate it as a dessert, and I was like, oh my God, this cookie is incredible. And sometimes, like, at first, like, when I taste them, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's okay, or whatever. And then, like, after a couple days of, like, biting a little bit off here and there, I, like, fall in love with it. That blueberry one, or blue one last week, was so fantastic. 
This lemon one is equally as good. Five out of five. If you like lemon, you're gonna love this one. So this is so good. And it's got these little speckle things on top, so delicious. Okay, uh, here's the next one. I guessed it right. Double fudge brownie. Woo! You didn't know you were getting 3D today, did you? So here, here it goes. Now y'all know I don't love the, the brownies, okay? Here's what it's supposed to look like. A thick brownie cookie topped with uh, glossy chocolate glaze and fresh baked brownie bites. Oh my lord. So here it is, the three, woo, 3D again. Okay, here we go. That's actually really good. And I don't love brownies. That kind of tastes less like a brownie to me and more like a piece. I always talk about my, my Aunt Kathy's decadent chocolate cake. It tastes more like a piece of like decadent chocolate cake. Like it is delicious. I really like that one. I don't love chocolate normally, but I would, I mean, I like chocolate like as far as candy, but in cookies and things like that and cake, I'd rather have like wedding cake or birthday cake, white, or white birthday cake. I would give that a 4.5 out of five. I think it's really pretty good. I'm impressed with that. Okay, the next one, oh, chocolate to toffee cake. I, I Got that right as well. Served chilled. And this is what, it, woo, 3D. This is what it looks like. A gooey chocolate cake cookie topped with fluffy whipped cream, caramel glaze, and crunchy toffee bits. So here we go. It's pretty good. I love the toffee bits because I love like Heath bars and all those kinds of things. What's the other one? Score or a score. <laughs> Heath or a score. Score. Um, I love those, but I will tell you, I think it would be better if it wasn't on a chocolate cookie and it was on like a snickerdoodle. Because I think the snicker or a cinnamon cookie. Like I think, oh, oh, or a gingerbread cookie at Christmas time. That would be really good. I just think, um, or like ginger snap. <laughs> I loved those back in the day that came in the box. They were real cheap. Remember those? I just think like it would be a little, a bit more satisfying. Like the chocolate with the Heath bar. I mean, I think some people will love it because they love chocolate. I just, like I said, I don't love chocolate. So anyway, I'm going to give that, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I mean, it's good. It's really good. Um, but it wouldn't be like my first go-to back. So, which is really funny because I just looked at these cookies and my eye went to the chocolate one. Like I almost, even though I gave the lemon one a five, maybe I'm going to raise the brownie and give it a five too. I'm going to give the brownie one a five too. Because I think for brownie lovers or chocolate lovers, you would love that one. The next one, oh, this is cute. Frosted strawberry pop tarts. Breast, breakfast with a pop. A buttery cookie packed with strawberry filling then covered in a pool of melted white chips. Flaky rainbow sugar and a mini pop tart bite. Okay. So, I am gonna just open this up and I'm gonna eat part of it because I don't know what part of it, ooh, it does kind of look like a Pop-Tart. Um, has like gelatin in it, but I do know that Pop-Tarts have gelatin in them. So, hold on a second, okay. It was really good, it has a little Pop-Tart, can you see it? Well, I haven't had a Pop-Tart in years, but having grown up on Pop-Tarts, I have to tell you, that cookie tastes pretty damn close. Oh, family friendly, 25 cents in the custard. That cookie tastes pretty darn close to a Pop-Tart, like a strawberry Pop-Tart. Or cherry. <laughs> it is the same. Strawberry Pop-Tart. I think it's good. I think it's really, really good. I don't think it's as good as the rest of the cookies this week, but I will say this. I've never reviewed this before and I don't think it's a new cookie and I, I like the fact that they're doing something different. I think it's novel and I think it's kind of cute, right? So I like that. I think the kids would love that. I'm going to give it a, a, a solid four out of five. Of all of them that I've tasted so far, it kind of has, like if you're not looking for something that's super, super sugary sweet, I would say it is the one 
that has, and you can see it has like all this strawberry filling inside. I think it's the one that has, and the glaze on top is really nice. <laughs> it's really nice. I think it's the one that has uh, the least sugary effect to it, so. Okay, and then the last cookie is the peanut butter mystery cookie. So, well, I don't know how to pick what I got. Reese's peanut butter cup featuring Reese's. So, I guess, no, that's not what it looks like. A classic peanut butter cookie packed with Reese's peanut butter cups. No. Swirled with mel melty, no. That's not that. Oh, shoot. I almost cussed. Oh, my God. Well, I can tell you what this is already. This is a peanut butter. It's falling apart in 50 pieces, but it's a peanut butter cookie. And it has Reese's Pieces in it, which I love Reese's Pieces. So, and I love peanut butter. Peanut butter is my favorite. Mmm. Five out of five. All day long. Five out of five. So, you want to see how bad it fell apart? It's still warm from the oven. All right, so here are the cookies for this week. This was a good week. They've had a couple good weeks in a row. I'm real impressed. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you've tried your cookies for the week. And I'm going to go get the vacuum out so I can sweep this up. And, um, yeah, good, good week, Crumble. Good week, Crumble. And I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.